Roof Restaurant today on this bright and beautiful and breezy day and we are here to view and to see the cyclists from Miles for Smiles and Operation Smile setting off on their nine day journey. Come with me while we chat to some of them. Hi guys, I'm Sharon from Go Well with Sharon and we are at the grass roof today and we are here for a very, very special occasion. All the cyclists from Operation Smile are setting off on their Miles for Smiles nine day journey to Cape Town and I've got a lovely lady here with me, Shannon, who is the national brand ambassador. Shannon, thank you so much for chatting with me. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Pleasure's all mine. Now, Shannon, how long have you been the brand ambassador? So I work for Johnson & Johnson, so I'm the ambassador on their, on their behalf. And I've been doing it for, this will be my third year now. Fantastic. So this is the third year in a row that you will be cycling for Miles for Smiles. This is the second year we're doing it, um, but uh, it sort of is just, yeah, this is only the second year. We'll, we're hopefully going to do many, many more. Yes, I'm sure you will. And tell me, Miles for Smiles, Operation Smile, what is that all about? So Operation Smile is one of the largest medical um, volunteer organizations and they work towards um, helping children with cleft lip and cleft palate and facial deformities. Fantastic. Now you guys are cycling for a reason, right? And that reason is to raise funds. Sure. Um, our focus is to, to, for a smile, it costs 5,600 Rand. So we hope to raise funds for 20 kids this year. Last year we raised 100,000 Rand, which helped for 17.8 procedures. And then also awareness, you know, we need people to understand what, what cleft is all about and how big the backlog is in, in certain areas. Absolutely. Now tell me, you guys are going to be cycling for nine days, right? How did you prepare for this journey? Goodness me, in terms of training, <laughs> um, we've just been, we try and ride on a weekly basis. Um, we're going to be doing about 100 kilometers per day. So it's quite a challenge, which forms part of people wanting to participate in this. It's a, you know, it really drives you, um, not just for the cause, but for personal growth and to challenge yourself in that aspect. And uh, we spent about... We're about six months preparing to get all of this stuff done. And everybody just sort of, they, they're very uh, ecstatic cyclists. So they're all, it's part of their hobbies and they, it's something that they love to do. Absolutely fabulous. Well, the excitement levels are pretty high out there, guys. Now, tell me if people want to get involved and donate, how can they do that? So we have a Facebook page as well as an Instagram. And you can look on Miles for Smiles PE to CT. And there'll be links on there with a QR code if you need to. Uh, that'll take you straight to the donation site. We're using Give and Gain as our donation platform. And it goes straight to Operation Smile. Fantastic. Now, Shannon, tell me, obviously, this is an ongoing fundraising venture. It's not just for the nine days of the actual cycling journey. So people out there can donate all year round? 100%. You can go and Google Operation Smile and there'll be an opportunity uh, more than you, you won't miss it to be able to contribute in that, in that sense. Absolutely fabulous. Now, Shannon, thank you so much for chatting with me. I'm not going to keep you much longer away from your breakfast. I know you <laughs> need to fuel up. So best of luck and we'll definitely be checking back with you guys when you're back from your journey. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm very excited. Um, I just want to add to you that for all those that are maybe wanting to donate, for every 50 rand that's donated, you get drawn, you get put into a lucky draw. You can win two nights away at Tunzi Lodge for two. Um, so for every 50 rand, you get drawn, you get put into that raffle. Fantastic. Well, there you have it, folks. Please donate. 
please support this amazing initiative and you might actually win a little two night stay well guys we're still at the grass roof talking miles for smiles and i've got an amazing young lady here with me inna van veik inna thank you so much for chatting to me it's a pleasure now inna i believe that you are one of the cyclists that's going to cycle from Port Elizabeth to Cape Town, guys, over nine days, and you are also undergoing chemotherapy at the moment. Yes, that's true. Now tell me, um, how did you prepare for this journey, and how are you coping with these amounts of cycling and also with the chemo? Um, I just eat healthy fruit and all my vegetables. I have to stay healthy. <laughs> And then I just do a bit of low sugar, so I won't do your energy drinks. I'll just do water and um, like a multivite fizzy tablet in as a cool drink. And then I'll just have another like a bar or something food-wise. Mentally prepara mental preparation, um, sure, like my buff says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So that's my motto that I live by. And yeah, just take it day by day. I mean, it's no use to look at the whole trip, or the trip as a whole. Um, just take it one step at a time and then you'll get there. Absolutely. Well, this is absolutely amazing. And for me, I'm totally inspired, guys. Now, um, obviously, you've cleared this with your oncologist. Y yes, I did. Um, we are very fortunate enough to have the backup vehicles. So if I don't feel well, then I can get into the backup vehicle, load my bike. And then still continue with the trip. I don't have to come back home. <laughs> That's awesome because you want to continue doing this. And I believe you also cycled the Herald this past weekend. Yes, I did. And like today, we still have the wind. So, <laughs> but yeah, it was my first Herald and I really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful piece, really a beautiful city. It is absolutely. Well, Inna, we wish you absolute the best. We wish you well, and we know you're going to do absolutely fabulous on this. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And it's all about the smiles, not about the miles. Absolutely. Well, so folks, there you have it. If this young lady can do amazing things like that, then please get off your butts and start <laughs> cycling. And remember to donate to Miles for Smiles. Mm -hmm.